Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I want to introduce you to my new, my latest book, the Book of Taurus, Kabbalistic Cosmology and the Magic of Essential Form. So, wow, this has been quite a labor of love. Each book is, I suppose, to a certain extent, but this one, holds a very important place in my heart. It's been about 40 years since I started this adventure, um, started reading um, as an adult. Um, and it's been, well, it's been about 40 years since I first encountered the words Hermetics and Kabbalah in my reading. And those just clicked. Um, and it's been 30 years now that I have been working with the gates of both the Hebrew tree and then the Gra tree. And my focus has come on to the Gra tree. So 30 years uh, of really intensive work with these gates um, have allowed me to finally write the commentary on the gates that is included in this book. That is really the major portion of the book. Yes. Yeah. That much <laughs> of the book is my commentary on the gates. This much of the book is my introduction to the Tree of Life, and to the magic of essential form. Now, what the hell is the magic of essential form? I imagine most of you uh, watching this video have enough familiarity with my writings and books to uh, be familiar with the term essential meaning. This is the path of He, Aries, that leads from Kether to Hokma. Okay? That's why my last book was the book of Aries, and it was about the magic of essential meaning. This is the I suddenly realizing that it exists, that it means something. So the magic of essential meaning is all about working with that meaning, that original meaning that applies to everything, okay? So, simultaneously with this emanation from, from Kether, this realization that it exists, is the emanation of the letter Vav, Taurus, ruled by Venus, that connects Kether directly with Bina. Now, Hakma is understanding it's that essential meaning, that immediate knowing. Bina means understanding, not wisdom. Excuse me, Hakma is wisdom, that immediate knowing. Bina is understanding. It's something that is a process, a sequential process. We come to an understanding, whereas we possess wisdom. This is the conduit of essential form, because that is what Bina is. Bina is form itself, which is the direct consequence of essential meaning, because essential meaning must express itself as form. That's just the way it works. I mean, where there is essential meaning, there is a concomitant essential form that is the perfect expression of an essential meaning. That is what essential form is. The equal of essential meaning, the product of essential meaning. In all cases in the tree of life, the pillar of force, 
I mean, excuse me, the pillar of form, the pillar of severity, form, is subservient, secondary, to the pillar of force, of mercy. Okay. So, with every essential meaning, there is an essential form. It's a universe coalescing around an essential meaning and giving it form, right? So the magic of a sensual form works with form much the same way that we work with the sensual meaning. We work with the essential meaning expressed through form. Now form gives us the opportunity to explore it. That's what our existence is is an exploration of essential form. Because everything around us is a form expressing essential meaning. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I haven't talked so much in quite a while. Um, so, how that relates to the gates, uh, one of the primary uses of this, well, the, the whole point of this magic of essential form is understanding. It's Bina. It's understanding. So, through this magic, our understanding of the cosmos, of our place in the cosmos, grows. It's not a really exciting, thrilling kind of magic that you can impress all your friends with. <laughs> but it impresses you. As your understanding grows, your adaptability grows. the effectiveness of your being in the cosmos grows. So one of the primary uses of this magic is with symbols. Okay? What we do is we observe, perceive, directly perceive the essential meaning expressed through the symbol. Then, filling ourselves with that essential meaning, we take into consideration the intellectual information we have about the meaning of that symbol and the two combined. And then, since it is a form that we are working with, whether it's this form of the symbol or the form of the meaning, we step into that form and we explore. And we learn. We let the essential meaning combined with our intellect, our intellectual understanding, and that level of our awareness, so we're merging levels of awareness to carry on this work, because it's with the fire region of the mental body that we directly perceive essential meaning, and it is the air region of the mental body and water region of the mental body that we work with in our intellectual understanding. So, with this combined awareness, we explore, and we are influenced. Our whole experience is directed, really, by the essential meaning of the symbol. So we learn about the symbol in ways that we could not learn about the symbol otherwise. <coughs> we experience the symbol. Now, the tree of life, specifically the Gra tree of life, or the natural rays, 
as Kaplan called it, is an essential form in and of itself. It is a very complex symbol, and at the same time a very simple symbol. Um, but it is an essential form. It is one of the most accurate, one of the most objectively accurate symbol, symbolizations um, of the cosmos, of the shape of awareness itself. Okay? And it speaks to the evolution of awareness, our part in the evolution of awareness, etc. It is the cosmos in pictorial form. You know, it's a diagram, basically. But it's a very dynamic thing. And that is revealed in the gates. The gates are dynamic movements of awareness within the eye, within the whole of the cosmos. Okay? This is why I titled the video series Ron's Kabbalistic Cosmology Macrocosmic to Microscopic because that's really what it is. Everything manifests the same pattern in its existence. Okay? Everything is made the same. Everything is the same. Everything has this built on the same template, basically. Okay. Just different iterations. Infinite variety of the same thing. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I use, really, the only way to truly grasp both the technique and the significance of the magic of essential form is by doing it. And how I suggest you do it here is with the 182 gates of the Gra Tree of Life. It will take you through a dynamic experience of the construction of everything, of the cosmos, of yourself, of everything that exists, the macrocosmic to the microscopic. It's all here, and it's a very dynamic experience. And it is a venue through which you can experience the best of what the magic of essential form has to offer in terms of understanding. Okay? And of course, understanding breeds ability. So there are magical abilities that are gained through the working, or are possible to gain through the working of the gates. And there are also um, additional workings other than the 182 gates that I offer here as well. Um, and it, it opens with a, a fairly comprehensive introduction to the Tree of Life. It's not uh, well, I should s say this. This is my experience of Kabbalah. Okay? This is not Jewish. It's not Christian. It's not necessarily truly hermetic. This is my experience, devoid of any religion or overriding philosophy, established philosophy, for me, Kabbalah is cosmology. And, you know, with, without this a, a religious dogma attached to it, it's just a wonderful tool to understanding. Because uh, you can work 
with it. You can play with it. You can explore it. And it will teach you. Because the essential meaning is expressed so clearly within the symbol. And I provide you with a sufficient intellectual understanding of the symbols individually and then in dynamic relationship with each other so that you can flesh out this experience and add it, add that material to your perception of the essential meaning of each of these gates. And it's an open door once you do that. Okay. So, it's a pretty book. <laughs> it's got a lot of nice graphics and everything. The a hardback edition, this is a paperback, the hardback edition is printed on a, a much uh, higher quality paper, and uh, that's why it's so expensive. Um, yeah, um, my hardback will show up in tomorrow, probably. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, so I'll end it there. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you get something out of it. Mostly I wanted to get it out of before all hell breaks loose, and uh, who knows what's coming in the near future. Um, so... It's out and it's available now. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye.